Good morning. My name's Graham Baker, and I'm here at the French Cars Day at Brooklands with my 1973 DS23 fuel injection Palace specification. Um, the car is presented in replica of its original state. It's in its proper original factory colour, but there have been some modifications done when we had the car restored about five years ago. It's presented in beige tolonne, the correct original factory colour for this car, with palace leather interior and the um, optional fuel in optional fuel injection and optional factory air conditioning and the very French looking blind in the rear window. The car I bought as a, an absolute wreck. Um, there's a, an argument that I bought it kind of by accident with the idea of getting one restored it went away for, for restoration over a 12-month period by the company who look after it and came back in this rather lovely state. It's a car we use very regularly. I use it at least once a week in the summer and monthly in winter and we use it for family holidays in France. The, the previous owner is a fairly um, how to put it politely, rather experienced Italian gentleman of, of advancing years who was giving up motoring. Um, it's been fully restored chassis and body because as a lot of French cars do, it had started to dissolve. The rust worms had hit it. Okay, we'll, we'll have a quick look at the interior of the car and see for a fairly old car how modern it is in some features. So we have Citroen's now traditional single spoke steering wheel set correctly so we're, we're driving in the straight ahead position and the spoke is supposed to be <laughs> offset to the outside of the vehicle because in 90, the 1950s when the car was originally designed we didn't have seat belts. So one of the safety features is that in a frontal collision, the steering wheel is designed to collapse and to roll the driver into the center of the car, minimizing any injuries. We have, in this later example, a fairly traditional dashboard layout, speedometer in the middle, a rev counter to the right and ancillary warning lights including what is known in the Citroen world as the big red light of doom in the middle and say stop if there's something significantly amiss with the the hydraulic system fuel level and engine temperature um, traditional conventional controls except for the transmission which is a four-speed manual gearbox but no clutch pedal the car's hydraulic system looks after the gear changes for you so you can change gears with a fingertip known in the Citroen world as a semi-automatic transmission this car is fitted with the factory option air conditioning system a fairly rare period accessory it does work which is very important on family holidays in France. Under the bonnet we have a 2347cc inline four um, fuel injected petrol engine produces in this specification with the modern fuel injection and engine management system around 145 brake horsepower with a very nice flat torque curve. It's a very drivable, comfortable car to, to move around in. This one with the, the factory air conditioning system and fuel injection has a very busy engine bay, a little bit more packed in than would normally be expected. Um, but 
to an engineer, it's, it's not as intimidating as it might first appear. The, the way I conceive of it is think of a modern car with a conventional wiring loom and then replace about half of the wires with hydraulic pipes. They do the same thing in the same way, just using hydraulics rather than electrons. Um, this one is highly geared. We've got a, a longer differential than is normal to exploit the torque so we can run at modern motorway speeds at lower engine speeds, making for a, a very civilised cruiser. The design brief for the DS was to fit five people and luggage for at least two weeks to be able to drive from Paris to the south coast in a day. So it was designed to fit the luggage for five people in the boot. One final detail about the, the engine bay on these is something which is useful for annoying drivers of Italian Exotica in that this is technically a mid-engine car. All of the engine is behind the front axle, giving nice balance but also designed for safety to give a nice large crumple zone in the unfortunate event of any accident.